everyone thank you for joining me here in the truck for a little truck talk today i uh, hope everybody's well happy lunch hour i uh, just want to come on here a few things on my heart uh, some things i've been hearing in my circle of influence is the quote unquote changed life now should we go out to the uttermost with a changed life mindset or should we focus on the gospel of jesus christ um the motive, the reason to be saved, to get saved, should be the prevention of hellfire, okay? We are doomed, the wrath of God ab abides upon a lost person when they have not trusted Christ as their Savior. A changed life comes later on. A changed life comes in our growing period, okay? After we trusted Christ as Savior, all right, on day two, we get in our Bibles. That's the only thing that, quote unquote, will change your life is the Word of God. Um, but it all starts with the number one thing, the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's why it's so very important to preach the one true gospel of grace. There's only one gospel, guys. There's only one way to heaven, and that is through Jesus Christ himself. It's not Jesus Christ and you try to reform and better your life and try to prevent sinning and try to do these works and things like that. No, it is Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. That's the first step in order to change, quote unquote, someone's life. And not that's not necessarily going to happen. That's not a guarantee, all right? When someone trusts Christ as their Savior, they have their sin. Do you remember that moment when you first heard the gospel and you, you had you had a, a moment of decision? Your sin was ever before you. Maybe you were so sick and tired of your sin. You were so tired of yourself. You came at the end of yourself and your sin was ever before you. And when you heard that glorious good news that one everybody's a sinner all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God according to Romans chapter 3 verse 23 then you then you heard the good news okay you heard the good news the gospel of Jesus Christ in that moment in that moment you trusted Christ you believed on Jesus Christ and him crucified you believe you came in agreement with God you're indeed a sinner and you believed his testimony that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever should believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life okay that's step one into a quote-unquote a changed life but that should not be the main focus point in my opinion this is just an opinion we all have them right that should not be the main focus point of a ministry. I want to change lives. Well, I want to change people eternal destinations. Their life in that in that regards. This life down here will perish. You will perish like a flower. You will wither away this life here. However, there are people right now that maybe listen to this video message that are addicted in bondage in bondage with drugs and alcohol. Uh, sex, pornography, uh, you name it, religion, all right? You want to be free from religion, okay? Jesus died for all that, okay? So, yeah, you are seeking a changed life, 100%. But, but the thing is, the first step is to secure, to secure your position in heaven. Is to secure, have a, a, a security assurance assurance that you are a child of God you are washed you are sanctified you are saved okay now let's start talking about a quote unquote change life all right we get in our scriptures we make it we and, and after you get saved after you became become a child of God you have another decision to make you have to come to that place am I going to trust Christ as Savior, one step one, two. Well, step one is that was previously that you trusted Christ as Savior. Step two, the day after, you grow. You grow in grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ with the scriptures. 
However, that that other decision has got to be, am I going to preach the gospel or not? Okay? Am I going to tell others about Jesus or not? You have to come to that decision. Then, you have to decide, am I going to uh, count the cost? There's a cost to that. Discipleship or service cost. You have to be willing to go out and, and preach the gospel no matter who is going to like it and who is not going to like it. That includes family members. You might lose family members. You may lose friends. Okay, that's going to happen. That's calculating your cost. But I'm here to tell you, it is well worth it. Well worth it. So, a changed life, our focus should be number one, is to get the gospel right and get it out to the masses. Then let's talk about, then, then let that person, give that person the freedom to choose the right path and have the Holy Spirit to comfort them and to guide them and teach them along the way. That's that's what it's about right there. It is about getting the gospel right and getting it out. But anyway, I hope, I'm going to go for now. I hope you, uh, this resonates with somebody. Let's not make a changed life your theme of your ministry. Let's make Jesus Christ. Let's put that focus on Jesus Christ. All right? Point to him. Because he is the Savior. He is the King of King and the Lord of Lords. Amen? Anyway, hope everyone have a blessed day. I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.